Good morning, today's lesson is 7.2. Evaluate expressions involving exponents. Our essential question, how do you use the order of operation to evaluate expressions involving exponents? A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. For example, three plus 16 times two to the second power, or four times parentheses eight plus five to the first power parentheses, or two to the third power plus four. You evaluate a numerical expression when you find its value. To evaluate an expression with more than one operation, you must follow a set of rules called the order of operations. So over here is a good reminder for the order of operations. First, you perform the operations that are in parentheses. Then, you find the value of numbers within exponents, so the exponents. Then, you'll do multiply and divide from left to right, which it could be divide to multiply, it depends on what comes from left to right. Once you've solved all of the multiplication and division, you're going to do the addition and subtractions from left to right. Again, it's the same. If subtraction comes first, you're going to do the subtraction first. You just simply do it like you read, from left to right. Let's unlock the problem. An archer shoots six arrows at a target. Two arrows hit the ring worth eight points, and four arrows hit the ring worth four points. Evaluate the expression two times eight plus four to the second power to find the archer's total number of points. If I'm following the order of operation, there are no parentheses, so I'd skip to the second step. There is a exponent, 4 to the, two, the second power. Yesterday we did those. So that is saying that my base number is 4, and then I'm multiplying it two times. And 4 times 4 is 16. So now I'm going to write the problem with what I have left plus what I solved with the 4 to the second power. So 2 times 8, and then I have plus this 16. Next it says to do the multiplication and division from left to right. Well, I don't have any division, but I do have multiplication. So if I multiply from left to right, then I'm going to get 2 times 8, which is 16. Next step is to do the addition and subtraction. So now I have 16 plus 16, which is 32. So the archer score is 32 points. Let's do this next one. So I have 24 divided by 2 to the third power. Well, there's no parentheses. Uh, there is an exponent, however, so 2 to the third power. Remember, that's the same thing as saying 2 times 2 times 2, right? Because 2 is my base and 3 is my exponent. So I mean, how many times to multiply it? So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So now I have 24 divided by 8, and 24 divided by 8 is going to be 3. All right, let's evaluate the expression 72 divided by parentheses 13 minus four, parentheses plus five times two to the third power. So let's write our expression. Here's our expression, and then we're gonna perform the operation. So first, we always remember we are gonna do parentheses, and there is a parentheses in this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do this parentheses right here, which is 13 minus four. 13 minus four is nine. Okay, next I'm going to find the value of number with exponents. Okay, so that means I'm looking at this right here, which is 2 to the third power. So that means 2 times 2 times 2, because 2 is the base, and 3 is how many times I'm multiplying it. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Okay, so again, I'm writing my equation down. Next, I'm going to multiply and divide from right to left, just like I read. So I'm gonna go from this direction to that direction. So I have 72 divided by nine, which is eight, okay? And then I have um, five times eight, which is 40, okay? So now I have eight plus 40, so I'm going to add. Eight plus 40 is 48, so my answer is going to be 48. Okay, example two. Last month, an online bookstore had a prop approximately 10 with five to the fifth power. Visitors to its website, on average, each visitor brought two books. Approximately how many books did the bookstore sell last month? So we're gonna write an expression. So think, the number of books sold is equal to the number of visitors times the number of books each visitor brought. So number of visitors was 10 to the fifth power times, and then the number of books brought was two books, right? So we're gonna write two. So next, we're gonna evaluate the expression. 
So write the expression so that there's no parentheses. So we have 10 to the fifth power times two. Then we're gonna find the value of numbers with exponents. Okay, so that's 10 to the fifth power. Again, that's saying 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So 10's my base and I do it five times. One, two, three, four, five, right? Whenever you're multiplying by 10, right, you know it's kind of like just adding those zeros. So if I've got five that times that I'm doing it, I'm moving that decimal over five times, right? So I'm going to have my 1, my 10, with 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. That's kind of how I always remember it. If it's 10 to the 5th power, it's going to have 5 zeros. If it was 10 to the 4th power, it's going to have 4 zeros. 10 to the 8th power is going to have 8 zeros. Just something that my teacher taught me that I always remember. So now I have 100,000 times 2. So now I'm going to multiply and I'm going to get 200,000. So the bookstore sold approximately 200,000 books. Now explain why the order of operations is necessary. Well, if an expression has more than one operation, its value may depend on where your operation you do first. The order of operation is needed so that everyone gets the same value. Because if I were to, like let me just do a simple one here. If I were to do, say three times four plus two. So if I did the addition first, I would get, um, I would get six times three, which would be 18. But if I did the multiplication first, three times four plus two, if I did this first, I would get 12 plus the two, which is 16. Very different numbers, right? So the order of operation, it's really important that you follow the order of operation. Okay, so the rest of the problems I want you to do on your own or with a partner, and then I'm always there for you. Good luck.